Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we're going to learn about seven signs you're dealing with a psychopath. Now, let's begin. Psychopath is a widely used yet frequently misunderstood title. Many people throw it around like an insult. You might call someone who does anything out of the ordinary a psychopath, but they aren't really. Or maybe you look toward history's most famous mass murderers. While many of these criminals were psychopaths, the real definition is a lot broader. Psychopathy can take a number of different shapes and can even disguise itself as other mental disorders. There's still quite a bit of debate in the scientific community about how exactly to define a psychopath, but psychologists have agreed upon a loose description. Psychopaths struggle to feel empathy or remorse. They often form deep emotional attachments to certain people or ideas, which leads to reckless and dangerous behavior. This unique personality disorder usually stems from a person's genes. In other words, they're born with psychopathic tendencies. From a young age, their brain just isn't wired the same way that yours is. This is where most people misunderstand this disorder. Being a psychopath doesn't make you violent or irrational. It doesn't automatically mean you're a terrible human being. There are plenty of people diagnosed with psychopathy who live normal lives. They have regular jobs, go to the grocery store, and play sports. Yes, they think differently, but being a psychopath doesn't make you a killer or a criminal. There are, however, risk factors that increase the likelihood of violence. The most common is related to the environment where you grow up. Many serial killers are predisposed to psychopathy, but it was actually their childhood trauma that set them off. Psychopaths often share one more talent that makes finding them incredibly difficult. Now, this isn't true for all people with psychopathy, so for now, let's just focus on violent and manipulative psychopaths. They tend to be amazing liars. They deceive others constantly because they don't feel bad about it. There's no empathy to keep them in check. The idea of guilt doesn't really make sense to them. They can fool even their closest friends and family into believing, hey, there's nothing wrong. You might think they're kind and harmless, right up until the moment it all falls apart. Maybe your best friend betrays you and cheats you out of a job. A decade of secrets and close camaraderie goes down the drain, and you're left wondering how you could have been so blind. To make sure you aren't sucker-punched by the people that you trust, here are seven signs that you're dealing with a psychopath. Number 1. Exaggerated Egotism One of the most recognizable signs of a psychopath is their consistent egotism. Now, in their eyes, there's no one in the world who could ever be their equal. They're the best at everything they do. They're 100% certain they could never be replaced. This inflated self-importance comes from the selfish way that psychopaths view the world around them. They think people are always looking out for themselves. And if anyone says otherwise, they're lying. To a psychopath, they're not doing anything different than everyone else. They're just doing it better. For example, psychopaths think the rules are only there for people who aren't clever enough to break them and not get caught. That's one of the primary reasons why so many psychopaths engage in violent crimes. When they want something, no one else's opinions or rules could possibly outweigh their own. This is often how psychopaths avoid taking responsibility for their actions. If you were supposedly asking for it, well, they don't think it's their fault. If they go behind your back, they blame you for trusting them. Egotism and a lack of responsibility is a dangerous combination, so don't let these two psychopathic traits go unnoticed. Number 2. Behavioral Chaos Psychopaths are rarely in control of their own behavior. They endanger themselves and the people around them by following impulse desires and instincts. If you're used to the stereotypical psychopath, this might sound a little backwards to you. The media's version is diligent and calculated. They plan out their crimes to the smallest detail, making sure that nothing ever goes wrong. Well, part of that is true. Psychopaths are exceptionally rational, but they have a hard time controlling their behavior. They're prone to fits of anger and can become suddenly violent. One little insult might shatter their ego, which sets off their explosive temper. When they're angry, psychopaths stop thinking about what they're doing and just do. Have you ever noticed you're extra careful around someone you know? If you have, ask yourself whether or not they're really in control of their behavior. Number 3. Insincerity Most of the things we say have meaning on multiple levels. Let's say you're leaving work and a co-worker shouts, Great job today! On the surface, it's an encouraging comment. But how often do you take things at face value? You look for subtext. You analyze the way someone phrases their sentence or emphasizes different syllables. You pay attention to the feelings behind the words, and not just the words themselves. Most psychopaths struggle to put genuine emotion into what they say. Their sentiments are hollow and fabricated. Their emotions might seem fake, because, well, they usually are. This doesn't mean psychopaths can't feel. They're definitely capable of emotion. 
The problem is relating those emotions to the people around them. Imagine a psychopath says something sympathetic like, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, it seems like they're trying to lift your spirits, right? In reality, a psychopath would only say something like this if they have something to gain from you. They're imitating sympathy to motivate you to give them what they want. So even if their words sound the same, the emotional connection just isn't there. So we're from? A group of researchers found that people diagnosed with psychopathy also miss out on metaphors and abstract ideas. So if there's a deeper emotional meaning behind something, it will probably fly right over their heads. It's not because they're stupid. Mm -mm. In fact, many psychopaths are incredibly intelligent. They simply specialize in logic and reason. They are adept at manipulating concrete ideas, but they get hazy when things dip below the surface. It turns out psychologists have actually seen this difference in action. In the 1990s, researchers measured the brain responses of two groups of people, one with psychopathy and one without. Both groups were shown a list of different kinds of words. Some were supposed to provoke an emotional response, while others were completely neutral. Sure enough, the non-psychopathic group reacted to the emotional words more than the neutral ones. On the other hand, the group with psychopathy showed no difference in brain activity. This study concluded that psychopaths' insincerity comes from this difference in neural responses. They won't grasp or relate to or care about their deeper meaning because their brain just doesn't work that way. Number 4.